Whiskey Jason, yeah, of Whiskey Live Dublin 2022 together with Mr. Anthony Sheehy from Irish Whiskey Auctions. Now, it took, I'm going to use the word balls, to actually start a auction site exclusively for Irish whiskey. Congratulations! It, it took something, I don't know if balls <laughs> is the right word, as in it took a, a fair amount of stupidity or uh, confidence. Look, it, we seen, Tenacity. Yeah, tenacity. <laughs> I mean, that's the right word. I mean, we've seen the, the, the auctions in the, in the UK market, in the European market, and we thought, why isn't it be done here? And it literally is. And, and Germany was the actual uh, catalyst for it. Ah, um, Thomas Kruger with whiskeyauctions.com. We, we bought a bottle from Thomas yeah. uh, for Katie's dad yeah. for Christmas 2017. It got stopped by customs coming into Ireland. We sort of were going, we were talking to a guy about it and he said, it's a shame that there's no whiskey auction business <laughs> in Ireland. Yeah. And we sort of went, it is, isn't it? Isn't it, it? yes. Really, why, why wasn't there one here before? And... We set about setting it up, and, and it it just seemed to flourish from there. Right time, right place, Absolutely. right thing. Yes. Um, John Teeling, uh, I, I've had the pleasure of being in his company a few times. Yes. And he said to me, he says, I think you're a bit early. And I went, I'd rather be early than late. Right. Yep. And it, it just seemed that we've we've grown as the industry has seemed to, to flourish and, and uh, expand. So it's brilliant. I mean, yep. it's been the right time, right place. Now, how many bottles do you actually sell just in Ireland? How many do you export to other countries? Is it 80-20, 50-50? Um, we're probably, at the minute, it's about 60-65% Irish is the yep. market for us. Yep. Um, the, the American market is particularly going for us every more month. Yep. Um, European market, I mean... Our biggest challenge is our shipping cost. Yes. Uh, we're on an island. Unfortunately, everything has to be flown off the island. So uh, the, the, the cost is, is what it is. Uh, we're constantly trying to get that. But again, it's, it's a volume number, as you probably know, that as soon as you get to a, a critical mass, you can get the price point down. And yeah. that's, that's what our ultimate game is. You know? All right, very good. You still don't have storage, do you? We do, yeah, yeah, okay. well, no, yeah. We because do. the very first time I ordered, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell my story, okay? Yeah, just I, 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 I bid on 10 products. I won one bottle, 22 euros. Right. 45 euros to ship it, ship it yeah, to Germany. And I was I was a, not a burn child, but I had burnt my fingers. And it's like, okay, I'm yeah, not going to... Not going to do that. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. So. Uh, we, the, uh, and one of the reasons, and we get that asked awfully, is why are we the price point we're at? The reason we we use next day delivery, yeah. and the reason being is it, it, I, I try to minimize the length of time it's in transit. Right. So the risk to the, to the package, because I can't go. If you buy something from me in an auction, it's not like... I can go and pick another one off a shelf and replace Never. it. Never. It's yeah. something that's... And again, with courier companies, a lot of them don't uh, insure the glass, yeah. alcohol, liquid, so they don't cover it. And it's it's really difficult. So it is yeah. one of the challenges we face. What other uh, challenges have you faced, not just transporting or sending alcohol the to technology customers? Itself, the technology yeah. I mean, again, it's, it was the biggest obstacle. Yeah. I mean, until June 2020, we had our, our, our old original website. And it just got old and tired and it just wasn't fit for the we didn't know we exactly. didn't know how it was going to go so that was the biggest challenge yeah. so when it started to work we we really rapidly had to try and implement a new uh, website and all that sort of stuff and when we did that it, it's worked now flawlessly yep. since then very, um, very good. look I, I i think it's it's like it we've been probably in tandem with the explosion in irish whiskey recently um, and hopefully we're, we're, we're going to be there to, to fulfill. I mean, we can get bottles that people can't get elsewhere. They, they're, they're trying to source them elsewhere. Yeah. We've had weird anomalies of, you know, Germany in particular. Yeah, we, we have a lot of um, German sellers yes. who send bottles to yes. Ireland of Blantons, of Eagle Rare, of American whiskies. They're seeing the prices that it's getting, and we end up shipping them to America yeah, yeah. because... They can't get the prices in the market, or they can't get the, yeah, the, the bottles. Products. They don't yeah, even yeah. see them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's it's infrastructure like that that we've now put in place that works and helps us grow, and hopefully we can continue to grow as as the Irish whiskey industry explodes. I mean, it's still going to keep going for another wee while, I think. Yeah. Uh, so John Teeling said, and I've said this in a lot of videos: as soon as you start drinking whiskey with about thirty, you'll stick with whiskey the rest of your life. Yeah. And so he said, I can guarantee 50 years. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah that's, and, and that's the thing. I mean, again, I, I think for anybody that's looking at Irish whiskey from the outside now, they have to take confidence from Pernod Ricard, from IDL, yeah. that the, the money that they're investing into it 
John Teeling, he's he's a legend. He's not a foolish man. He's continually, you know, expanding. I mean, there I was talking to one of their team the other day, and they're doing two thousand nine hundred barrels a week, week at the minute. Yes. He's talking about within five years they're going to be Perfect. touching nine thousand what? Yeah. Barrels. Barrels. I mean, a week. A week. <laughs> Their biggest challenge is warehousing, yes. is, is storage. I mean, yeah. and, 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 and as is the case. So with that growth, all the brands, all the industries, hopefully will be there standing tall as well and being able to ship with them as well. So it'll be, it'll be a challenge, but hopefully we're up to it. Very, very good. So you have customers basically all over the world at we the moment. Indeed. Yeah. I'm sure North Korea, no, and other places like that, maybe few, not. Few, <laughs> no, a few of them are really challenging. I mean, yeah. uh, Canada's particularly challenging yes. to get into. Um, again, it's, it's one of the ones we always try and mitigate the, the, the landing costs for somebody. Um, but again, I mean, the rest of the world is, is, is game ball. I mean, I think in November we shipped to 28 different countries in total. Yeah. So it is it is great that we're getting there. But again, it's, it's, it's hard work. It is hard yeah. work. It is a challenge. Very good. So if I want to sell something, I actually send it to you. We send it to us. You check and make sure it's not a fake. Absolutely. You make sure that everything's... Yeah. Uh, going still water forward, tight. I think yeah. that's when items start to achieve price levels. Yeah. Maybe you've got to be more concerned about the fakes, and we can see it in the in the Scotch industry. Yeah. I mean, it's it's happened a few. That's times where Thomas now. Kruger is an expert, by yeah. the way. He, yeah, that's, and it really does. I mean, again, we've started with with the, with the Irish stuff. We've started checking laser codes. Yeah. We've really started to go into detail on it so that we can build a a, a catalog yes. of data that we have reference points to mm. go. It's this, it's this, it's this, because that is the challenge, isn't it, going yep. forward? Um, and then, we, you know, it, it's we get the bottles to us, verify it's legitimate. We are probably unique in that we photograph every Great. single item in that a lot of people would use library photos of a generic bottle or no. something like that. Whereas we always say photo every single bottle because then even the flaws yep. or everything's on it and it shows Still it up level. in that as mm -hmm. well. So it's, it's, it's hard work. But it's worthwhile. It stands to us. It gives us gives us the originality and it gives us the authenticity that we can stand over. Now, I'm sure in your collection, there's a bottle you would never put on auction. What is it? Personally? Is it? <laughs> yes. Do you have one of those bottles? <laughs> it's Thomas Kruger's one. It's, ah. it's actually, it is the, the very first bottle that we bought. So the, the bottle, not that we bought, it was the bottle that we bought that was the catalyst yeah. for Irish whiskey auctions. So it's a bottle of Sleeve and the Glock. Uh, oh. From the Curly Distillery. Yeah. Um, again, the, the, the comedy of I live or Dundalk, where we're based, is yeah. only six, ten miles from the Curly <laughs> Distillery. But we couldn't buy these products. They yeah. were available in Europe or in the UK. So uh, it was one of the bottles that we uh, we have, and yeah. it, it'll never go for sale. <laughs> That's great. Never That's go great. It no. never go, it never get any real price that it uh, is worth. Uh, you know, me yep. retiring yeah, them, yeah. but it, it's, it's one of our The bottles. sentimental value yeah, is the important. Sure. I have a bottle signed by someone as well. Yeah. I would never sell for that. Sure. I mean, I, I actually have, uh, I'd be a bit of a teeling fan by yes. I mean, uh, I've identified as that a few times. I have a set of 21, 26 and 30 year old teelings. Yes. And all three of them are signed by Jack, John and Stephen. Oh. So uh, it's something again, very special for me yeah. as well. To have, you know. Very good. And if we want to buy whiskey, we just go to www. Irishwhiskeyauctions.com. Sign and up. Sign up. And uh, again, the storage thing is a lot of the, 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 the European users and the American users are really getting into that now that yep. we can hold the bottles for them, amalgamate after two, yep. three months yep. and ship to them in, in mass. It's considerably cheaper. It it's is. considerably safe. Back then, you didn't have that. Now no, it's very, no, very we, good. We, we didn't have the space where exactly. we do now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. We've... we've We've expanded our, our storage facilities and all that yeah. stuff as well. And we you're based by Dundalk, as you mentioned. We so are you have a Dundalk. wonderful facility and we enough people. Indeed. Yeah, you're welcome to call down and visit us, Jason, if you're <laughs> here for a few I days. That was Monday. I, was, uh, yeah. I, would have, I should have dropped yeah, by. I'm sorry. You're welcome yes. to call down to us. I mean, yeah. we have um, we've built I mean, our, our vaults where we hold the whiskey. I mean, we've uh, invested heavily in the infrastructure and security of yep. that. So we've got... Um, like we've got ballistic glass on our windows. Wow. We've got access control on our doors. Mm. We've really invested heavily because ultimately it's, you know, a lot of the bottles are irreplaceable. Yes. I mean, if we have a legacy bottle, 
You'd be actually just a nightmare for an insurance company, aren't you? I, we were a bit of a challenge for them, all right, yeah. Uh, I think they... Had, and it changes every month as uh, well. Uh, yeah, so we have to... Actually, that was one of the challenges as yeah. well, initially, that you have to keep stepping your overall uh, 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 cover. Yeah. But one of the things is that they, they have to... Uh, they sort of try and implement, come to us and see what we've got. But you sort of... How do you... Month to month, because we yeah. empty the room fill it again, yeah. empty the room, fill it again. And I mean, it's, there's an element of Groundhog Day that you're yeah. <laughs> on the same thing every month. But look, at it, it's always a giant, it's always different. I mean, yep. it's a great window into Irish whiskey yes. and seeing what the, the, the patterns are and what the flows are and what people are chasing. Yep. I mean, Middleton's obviously one Still. of the flagship yep. there that everybody chases. But you see a lot of the new brands coming through Thoman Gate recently with Nick. Yep. I mean, only last month, one of the bottles sold for three thousand euro. Yeah. I mean, a fantastic so it, it price. Was that was very, a, very an nice. initial uh, bottle for a hundred euros. Yeah. I mean, a hell of a return. A really, really, really good return. So, um, it you is, are on camera, just, by the way. Just camera. So, uh, <laughs> it, it is. It is one of them things that um, people are looking at now as well as an alternative investment. Yep. Um, other than just the drinking and the, the, the enjoyment aspect of it as well. So it's it's growing. And that's I think that's diversifying a wee bit as well. I yep. mean, people are getting into that as well. So. And how many bottles were in the auction maybe last month or the uh, month before? Last month, we're hovering around 1,000, 1,100 okay, right. bottles there yep. every month. Um, again, it's it's great for, I mean... In the summer, some less. In the winter, yeah, some more. And again, you can see the, the peaks and troughs yep. of that. And I mean, and again, when we look back at... Uh, when I was doing the initial um, planning for Irish whiskey auctions, you were looking at the UK auctions and you could see literally it was the same sort of thing. Yep. And even even uh, uh, whiskeyauction.com, I mean, yep. it was the same thing. You could see the, the peaks and troughs. But it's natural. I mean, again, people on holidays, are we going to see a bit of a slowdown now with the, the, the bit of a, a slowdown that we have, the inflation rising the way it is? Are people going to get thinner underground are they going to spend the money that they did yeah don't know that's we'll see yeah that's it that's it all right i'm looking forward to actually um looking at your website again and maybe buying something and keeping it there and then you're buying something welcome. again next month and actually having it shipped over to your yeah, germany that's gonna very, be great you're very welcome to do that and again just reach out to us i mean one of the things that we've tried to do is make ourselves really approachable on yes. social media yes. and email and all that sort of stuff I mean, people know us instagram it's, it's, instagram <laughs> yeah i mean we're, we're walking around here and people are coming up and shaking our hands and exactly there is an element you experience the yep. same so it, it is enjoyable because that's what you want yep. you want to be talking to people and enjoying whiskey and that and that's that's what it's about so hopefully we've we've done a few right things and people will, will continue doing business with us you know it's, it's great thank you very much for this nice You're interview all thanks, the best and we'll keep on contact bye cheers. bye cheers bye